Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to Luke Airtor 3.0 comparison with the uh, new, with the old version, sorry. Um, it's early stages, but I'd like to show you. Uh, let me first explain to you that at the moment, this screen cannot be moved, so this window, so that I didn't code that in, hence why it's slightly covered up. Uh, the reason why I left it in the sign up screen, uh, sign in screen, sorry, so you can see the speed in loading data. So you can see that's my dummy account, that's my proper account. Uh, so both of these uh, will, well, I'll log them in as quick as possible. I'll try and click on both buttons really quickly. So I'll just do that. Just so you can see the difference in loading speed. So this is the current version you've got of Airtool. And this is the new version just under here. So when I click log in on both, you could see how fast it loads up. Uh, at the moment, it says Microsoft Flight Simulator Edition. The reason why I've added that, this is for now, because I've encoded in XUIPC for X-Plane. Uh, and FSUIPC for P3D. Yes, at the moment you will require FSUIPC and XUIPC for Xplain or P3D. Reason being, uh, due to just me developing this, uh, the delay in doing SIM Connect stuff, so it won't require FSUIPC product, uh, will take some time. But the 3.0 will come fully compatible for all the sims like Airtool currently is only for Microsoft Flight Sim you will not require FSU IPC just now I would just like to ask you guys for patience um, this will be delivered at some point during the version 3 point whatever uh, so these will come over a period of updates uh, so like I said please give me your patience for this it's just me developing the software on my own and due to my health issues, I can't really focus 100% on developing Airtel, even though I'm off sick. Which I thought would be a good idea to kind of spend that time to code. But literally, there are days when I feel really, really bad and I can't really walk. Uh, so, let's get back to this. Enough of my health. Um, so, I want to click on login on both. And you can see the speed of it logging in. Hopefully, the server doesn't block me from logging in because I might be spamming. So, login, sign in. So give it a sec, there you go, new version of Airtel is locked in, the other one is still logging in, there you go. So you can already see the speed in connecting to the server, extremely less laggy, uh, as you can see, uh, you could have, I, I was actually using Air, moving this while it was logging in, and you can see yeah, the current version. So in comparison between these two screens, they're both exactly the same as in what they are, so this is your dashboard. So I'm going to explain to you why I've made huge changes to the current, sorry, to the new version. Firstly, I'm pretty sure you guys don't care about the top departure airport and top arrival airport, even though they're both the same. Uh, <clears throat> I bet you don't care how many people are live now, uh, how many registered users and how many flights. I'll probably put these stats somewhere, maybe in settings of the new version, but no one really cares. Right, so as you can see here, we'll show you last flight. Uh, I might do a button here that will say so you can fly the same flight or redo or something like that. So it shows you to and from, the type of flight, the score and your landing rate. Yes, it's zero. It doesn't work yet. Even in the old version of Airtool, it doesn't work properly. So bear that in mind. That will be something that will be fixed. Uh, so you will get the same one as you get in, uh, was it G's or Geese uh, and other third party applications for flight sim. Um, at the moment, I've encoded that in. That will be hopefully in for the release or the beta testers. And, and while I'm on the subject of beta testers, anyone that purchased um, Audio Plus or Airtool Plus and is in a beta program, so it's rather you've purchased uh, Airtool Plus or you're in beta program, you will get access to the beta version, closed beta testing. Um, so you will be able to log in to this account on here if you have uh, audio plus or you're registered as a beta user so bear that in mind um the reason why i've done that is to limit reports of faults uh, of people saying this doesn't work um i kind of just want to keep it um minimum numbers for now just so i can monitor how it works so anyway, your stats here, this will be overall stats, so you'll come up how many flights you've done, your best landing in FPM, and I'm going to currently reset the landing rate uh, stats. Um, what else I'm going to add? Oh yeah, the, the aircraft you frequently use, maybe. Um, I don't know what the other two are, hence why they are lines. I might probably do departure airport or best score, something like that. Because 
I'm showing you the total score up here and I'm showing your current how much credits you've got so going to the left now you've got your flights so this will be something similar oh, they won't work on here so you know how on profile I'll show you all the uh, most of the flights you've done you have something here I probably could fit about 15 of them I'm literally just going to show departure destination and I don't know maybe date and then underneath here there'll be a button that says view all um, or something like that or do like a little eye icon or up here I don't know so let's go back here quickly so server notifications so exactly as it is here uh, it's very important information I add here uh, it tends to be uh, mainly if there's any bugs or any um, faults that we found so I think recently someone reported that uh, Airtel was actually being sold even though it's a free software it's being sold on some website so it just give you a little warning there personal message will show here so this is kind of a new thing uh, I'm not sure what I will add here so you know for example if you contact me to uh, report I don't know let's say score not updated or something's happened this will be this will be me personally messaging you however I don't think I have that here I'll probably have the server message full and there will be an envelope here on the left uh, with notifications uh, so very similar to um, other applications how you have notifications coming up and you'll be able to click on that and you'll be able to message directly to server admin if it's required to message so basically if there's like a message from a server saying uh oh no airtel servers will be down for maintenance so and so on you you won't need to reply to that so the reply will not be there and so on so very similar to the way flylat works if you haven't used flylat uh i don't want to go into details about this but i kind of separate airtel and flylat into two different applications uh, so just to focus airtel on passenger simulation and audio flylat will be company uh, simulation you will still have packs in minutes or passengers uh, however the seat plans and audio work slightly different but I'll explain that once I do a demo for that All right so let's go into flight setup I know this this is gonna be very very basic the map's not coming up so you can see here in flight setup you've got the routes um, everything that we need is on this screen um, so aircraft you'll be able to select your aircraft flight number you got flight number sim uh, this will be adjusted in settings you won't need to do that in flight setup seat plan is exactly as it'll be here manufacturer model departures you can hear that up there um, and your standard thing there audio settings or audio plus is here so i'm literally getting rid of three tabs so you won't have to go through three different tabs it's all under one tab this information down here that will be changed what's displayed uh, there is no need of me displaying the airport information however when you do type the airport information to here and you hover your mouse over I want to display the name of the airport so something like that this isn't done yet but I can see that the animations are very smooth um, can't really see much here because I haven't added anything yet uh, but it's all very very um, responsive compared to what it's like before next screen we're going to go to settings just to give you a rough idea what it might look like so the comparison in settings <laughs> as you can see it's just cleaner uh, so account I mean that's just all this is massively um, wasted space uh, I literally kept it to very very minimum product activation simple you'll be able to activate now you'll be able to change your username so the way Airtel works it doesn't work by username however username is being displayed to other users so um, your friends list and stuff like that email obviously email will come up here to change the email you can contact us I'm not going to set it here product code so activate audio plus or fly light you can do it delete an account you can actually do it through the app now so I'm going to add the new setting where when you click on delete account it will send you an email with a code and then you will have to type in a code in a pop-up that comes up just to confirm you deleting the email uh, deleting the account storage settings so this is a new feature and so at the moment Airtel stores data in local files um, so you actually will be able to adjust where Airtel saves all the required files I thought I'll add that uh, just in case people don't want Airtel saving into the C drive so you can set it to whatever drive you want you also be able to delete the data which you can actually do it here uh, you can see I can't remember where I've done it now it's in main apps yeah clear Airtel data there you go <clears throat> so a lot of settings will be under one screen so on this right screen obviously will be pack sim 
because Paxim is needing a lot of data. Map settings will be down here. Like I said, all this is massive wasted space and it doesn't look nice. Customization won't come in yet. <clears throat> this will be added uh, in the future. Uh, progress, you don't. I'm pretty sure you don't care about that in my opinion. I don't need to add this anymore. About, about will be somewhere else, it won't be in settings. So a lot of this stuff is just going to be on one screen. Um, nice and neatly all packed away into tabs, uh, into little uh, columns and stuff like that. So that's, you can tell the difference, looks more professional on the left. Um, I've experienced with a lot of different UI settings. Remember, it, it took me it took me three days to kind of come up with the color scheme. Um, like I said, I wanted to use the yellow and dark. It kind of gives you that airport style feeling. Uh, let me know what you think about the color scheme in the comments below. Do you like this new uh, color scheme? Uh, because at the moment, Airtool's kind of just got this. I mean, I don't mind this one. However, it is kind of messy. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, that's what I've shown. Oh, another thing that I'm still working on. Not sure if that will load up correctly. It might lag. Oh, no, there you go. This will actually work with FSU IPC or uh, SIM Connect. So... You can tick it if you want on or off. So what this this will work same as Paxim. So instead of you having passenger simulation, you simply select the airline that you want. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of laggy because I haven't done the code prob properly yet. Uh, oh, by the way, if you've got Audio Plus, it even adds Audio Plus uh, announcements into it straight away. So where previously on the other one it doesn't, this one it does. When you get auto announcement set, that we use F, uh, that we use Sim Connect at the moment for Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, I will. I need to correct myself. This will only work with Flight Sim at the moment until I get the um, Sim Connect stuff to work correctly with Xplain. I don't own P3D. Uh, as much as it sounds selfish, I don't plan in buying it at all. I think they do use Sim Connect, so it actually might be working already with p3d using sim connect if not you will need to use FSU ipc for um p3d but the announcements will work straight away so you can just minimize this uh this obviously this screen will minimize straight away uh i haven't coded that in yet um obviously because i still want to see what i'm doing so yeah the auto announcements will work um oh, there you go it's a bug i can't untick it <laughs> uh it's all right um so you can see yeah so it's exactly very very similar to the announcements as you can see here it's just a lot more neater a lot more tucked away the stuff that you don't want is gone and the stuff you use so the volume here is just generic audio so be the announcement audio if you want to adjust all the other stuff there'll be a button here for settings and you adjust the volume up here if you've got any more questions regarding uh, Airtool 3.0, do feel free and comment below. If you are going to ask of the release date, I cannot promise you when it's going to be out. I am releasing it soon. Soon as in when it's ready. It is... I'm planning to finish flight setup uh, by the end of this week. Uh, so it's fully functioning. Will this take me? No, sorry. I just, I just want to double check if I coded it in. Um... Paxim is kind of ready. Seat plans won't be ready for the closed beta as we are doing a nice little surprise for you guys regarding seat plans. Uh, I don't want to re reveal it just yet. It will be just added in an update with that, an actual announcement. Um, so, yeah. So if you've got any more comments or maybe suggestions, uh, do feel free and comment below uh, what you would like to see um, in Airtool 3.0. Here's something just to quickly clarify. I am going to remove a lot of features as they are outdated. So, for example, I'm going to remove charts. Uh, you can see the, the bug. Oh, sorry, the menu's there. I'm going to remove charts because you can view on our website. Uh, the way I'm going to actually do the charts, see when you're in the Paxim, you've got the option to... Uh, so, basically, you've got departure and arrival. You double-click on that. It takes you straight to the website. Custom audio, yes, that's going to return. It will be under here. Uh, troubleshoot, yep, yeah, and debug will be potentially under settings. I'm trying to clear it up so it's nice and easy. And this is workshop as well. So if you go under here, tools, it will give you pop up and it takes you to workshop. Now, seat plans. How do seat plans work in Airtool 3.0? All seat plans hopefully will work. 
uh, like I said, I'm doing something um, something quite cool with seat plans. Um, however, there'll be something called Creative Labs. Um, I'm, I may have to change the name as it's kind of uh, uh, kind of already used. Maybe uh, Creators uh, Corner or something like that. So certain users do create really good seat plans. So to prevent the seat plans from completely taking over this, you know, we've got loads of pointless. Some of them are really good. Some of them are just like you know some of them got like seven thousand seats i think I've, I've deleted that one already but when you want to upload your seat plan to the community you need to go for an approval stage uh, this will be approved by admins and moderators after a certain while once you start creating good seat plans and things you know what we don't need to approve this guy this this guy makes really good seat plans straight away you have your own creator corner so people will be able to actually click on your username uh, for example, like here, and it will come up with your username or whatever. You click on that, it will take you to a page to show what you've designed. Um, and you have your own little section on there as well. Um, also, new feature, custom audio will be shared online as well. So you will be able to upload your custom audio to online, online for other people to share. So we will not have to use Discord for sharing audio files. Uh, that's something that will come in the future in a free version uh 3.0 version onwards so what i mean by that would be 3.1 3.2 and so on um over the period of air tool 3 uh, i'll be adding features back into it just like it was originally in the first air tool how air, all the features were kind of added on over time that way it allows me to release the 3.0 quickly to you guys i'm not rushing it uh, i want to make this really smooth transition and making it awesome awesome application uh, and it 3.0 will always remain free the only thing that you would want to pay for is maybe the plus version uh, which will be adding more and more features again uh, i'll ask kindly ask for your guys uh, patience uh, as it's only me developing the app um and there are tight days when i can develop most days uh, there are days when i'm actually in a lot of pain and can't really uh, work uh on the application uh so for anyone that you know cares uh just to give you guys an update i'm going in hospital on the 27th of this month uh, so in 10 days from the recording of this video hopefully i won't be staying overnight but if my condition is bad uh with the scan results from uh, tomorrow that i'm getting then i will need to be in hospital for a while at this rate i don't know nothing um at the moment, I'm still staying as I am now. Uh, I'll probably know any. I'll probably know the what's really happening with me tomorrow or on the twenty seventh. But nevertheless, uh, thank you for using Airtool. Thank you for your constant support and your patience. Um, I promise you, this app is going to be a huge success once it's released, uh, because it's going to be a whole new app. Um, I was going to rebrand it to a complete different name, but I'm keeping it as Airtool because you guys know it as Airtool and the community knows it as Airtool. And believe me, it's going to be an extremely smooth experience. I've already tested it. Um, I've already had a little play around with the Paxson bit. And it's running a lot smoother and a lot less options. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because we're getting into nearly the 20 minute mark. Don't want to waste your time. Have a smashing week. Uh, and, uh, Toolers, have a good flight.